Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video I am finally getting my snapdragons seated and I will walk you through the process I used and then we will do a follow-up in a week or so to see if it worked because I don't know. Um, to be honest I watched a bunch of videos on how to start snapdragons from seed and just about every single one I watched they were using grow lights. However, just about every single one I watched, they were doing some sort of um, seed sowing really early on in the season and not when it's already warm out, like I'm doing. So here's my thought process. I went ahead, I'm using a 72, tell, 72 cell seed tray. I, the video I saw that I did like was that she first put the soil in, then moistened the soil, and then added the seeds on top of the already moist soil. This makes sense because then you're not disturbing the seed, watering them after you already have them into the trays. So the two seed mixes I am planting are from Johnny's Seeds. One is called Potomac Early Sunrise Mix, and the second one is a Madame Butterfly Hybrid Mix. So I did go in and attempt to put one seed roughly per cell. Is there more than one per cell? Very possible. Am I sweating it? Mm, not so much. The only reason I didn't do a widespread sprinkle across the tray was because I only had so many seeds and I really wanted to be a little more cautious with it. This is my second planting of these seeds. The last planting I did did not go well at all. So what am I doing different this time? I did pick up a um, seed heating mat, which you'll see later on in the video. Uh, I now have a humidity dome, and I am also going to give the vermiculite a try um, just to help keep the moisture in, but um, keep it from getting the green fungus that you can tend to get on top. So why do I think, why am I hoping this method is going to work? I am actually hoping that I can keep them in a window um, and use the seed warming mat just long enough for them to get a slight germination to them and then move them outside because we are at a point where we are obviously way past a freeze and we are also at a point that even nighttime temperatures are staying mm, I'd say around the 60s at the very lowest so I think we'll be able to maintain a warmer temperature for our seeds. So the plan is if we hopefully get these guys to germinate here in the very near future, then we can go ahead and move them outside away from the, um, the heating mat and hope that they can grow with the natural sunlight um, since I do not have grow lights and this way they are still getting nice strong um, stem starts to them versus a leggy start. I'm still going to turn the tray every day so that if I do start getting some growth, um, they're not constantly pulling to one side going towards the sun. Um, I have found even when I have done uh, seed starters of vegetables or anything in the house using window light, as long as I keep turning the tray every day, they're not constantly pushing one direction towards the light causing that legginess. So I am going to turn the tray each day so that when I do hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> start seeing some growth out of these guys, it's not going to be pulling to one direction. Clearly I am going to keep you guys posted on how this is going um, and we shall see. Hopefully within a couple days we will start seeing some action on these guys because I'm really, really excited about Snapdragons. And again, I've learned my lesson. Next year, I will do these much earlier. I will buy, make sure to buy the tall variety cut flower um, plants or seeds. And I'm pretty sure by next light, I will probably be doing uh, some indoor seeding and probably investing in some grow lights. But honestly, I have already put a lot of money out this year and I really, and just kind of like, I just need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop. I need to kind of work with what I have and see what happens. So now I'm just sprinkling that vermiculite on. You want to be very light with it because your seeds still need light. And um, I didn't mention earlier, these seeds are uber, uber tiny, uber, uber tiny. 
so just be careful in spreading that on top, not to go too thick with it. <laughs> Paisley was hanging out with me as I'm working on all my seeds, telling me about her last day of school and what she wants to do this summer. Hopefully some of that includes gardening with mommy. And the last step I did was we took these and put them in my front window, which is gonna mimic the exact type of lighting they're gonna get once they're in the front flower beds. Will it work? Who knows, time will tell. I'll keep you updated. See you in the next video.